Today I'll be reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection in Space Yellow. Front of the box, side of the box, back of the box. Let's open her up. Out of the package, and she looks great. But, of course, she kind of has Marvel Legends articulation. But, just like female Marvel Legends, Hasbro, for some reason, does not like girls having double-jointed elbows. The guys have double jointed elbows, but the girls have a single joint and then a swivel. But she has double jointed knees, so I have no idea why. I guess because they think it'll look weird, but oh, look at this! An SH Figure Arts, and ah, uh, it's a girl! Ah, uh, and she has double jointed elbows! Uh, what madness is this? And yes, I will get around to reviewing her. Plus, she has little slits in the side of her skirt so she can kick. A little. Anyway, she comes with the standard holdy and punchy hands, but only a fisted hand and then a flat hand. Her sidearm blaster, which can be stored, and then her slingshot, which has a unique effect part. And an Ashley head, which looks like her, but her hair is a little too light. Size comparison time. Here she is next to the Magna Defender and Psycho Yellow, which yes, I will review them. Psychos eventually. Zeo Ranger Gold, because I got them at the same time. Another future review, damn it Brady. And DC Universe Classics All-Star Batman. It kind of sucks for the elbows, but you kind of have to deal with that when it comes to Hasbro. Uh, I still recommend this figure, it's great. For any Ashley fans and Space fans. Turbo fans, Mega Ranger fans, because no SH Figure Arts for Mega Ranger.